Do you recall this video I made back in March of 2014 based on a newsletter I did back in July of 2008? wherein I share documented photographic proof that the popes of Rome not only started the UFO movement, they did so on canvas in the 15th century. These paintings depict Jesus Christ coming to this earth, not by the will of the Father in heaven, as Christian prophecy stated thousands of years ago. They openly blaspheme to claim the birth of Jesus Christ was the end result of an alien transporting him into the womb of his mother Mary, as the painting on your screen claims. The dying God of Rome, most people call Satan, moved his man of sin to do all he can to make the prophesied arrival of Jesus Christ as Messiah, who was to die for the sins of all mankind, appear false. Right before Jesus breathed his last to say, it is finished on the cross that day, Satan, who was the author of death, was utterly and permanently defeated. Since that very day, he has focused his attack against what Jesus did for all of us when he died on the cross 2,000 years ago. Since the headquarters of Satan on earth is now openly confirmed to be the Vatican in Rome, I mean, after all, the prophecy did say that the man of sin would be revealed in our day, did it not? Well, if you're a student of prophecy, you know that just as all the talk of a third temple today is right now being used to confuse many people into thinking what happened on Calvary was insufficient, and therefore the lamb sacrifice for sin needs to be restarted so as to give all religious leaders that much more power over the churches, having Jesus depicted as an alien now can also confuse even more people into thinking the Bible record of his message and all the miracles he had performed are nothing more than alien technological deceptions. That way, those that do not study the word as they should will be easily moved into believing the lies, and especially so when Satan appears and then claims to be Jesus Christ on earth in the very near future. When he does this, as the Pope's climate change agenda is in full swing, as prophesied, he will perform miracles before the eyes of the lost, and that will cause literally billions to believe he is the real Jesus. And the Bible is then a work of fiction. Once billions are bowing to him, if they have not already succumbed to ignoring the Bible, he will then declare the Bible is unreliable, just as the Pope and the SDA leaders claimed back in 2019. Then, and as also prophesied, many will believe his lies as truth, since they never studied the King James Bible in the first place. And yes, this is why so many bogus Bibles have been printed the last few decades so as to cause many to put down the King James Bible. The popes of Rome have been doing all they can to make the Bible and the truth it contains to come off as questionable, exactly as prophesied, for this final attack on all of mankind. And yes, this is why the current pope has not only been claiming Jesus failed on the cross more than once, he also stated Satan is more powerful than Jesus, among many other strange statements. Soon, Satan will appear, claiming to be Jesus, and he will heal many people and even declare a new and more exalted system of worship that is outside the Bible that appeals to the flesh of all those that ignored or never knew what Jesus said about going anywhere near him when he does this. All of them will believe every lie he spews, and they will be forever lost. This dying and fallen angel called Satan will then declare the Bible to be a work of fiction, especially when it comes to the true Sabbath of the Creator. Satan knows those that keep God's law prove they have the Holy Spirit helping them keep it, which then means they will gain eternal life. But he wants everyone to worship him and keep his fake Sunday Sabbath so as to cause them to gain eternal death or damnation. For as also prophesied, he is the God of dung that wants them all dead. And so this fake Jesus will then declare he did change the Sabbath to Sunday and all of mankind must keep it holy or he will not stop the disasters brought on by what he and his pawns in Rome call climate change, but the Bible calls the final signs of Christ's return. And so as prophesied, nearly everyone on earth will believe him and then that which was prophesied in 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 8 to 12, will be fulfilled before everyone's eyes, and then the end 
will come. For it is written, Then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Thank you for watching. God bless.